faith in the king Israel united in Christ who we be Wherever our people be gathered You know that we bringing this heat Scripture on scripture we call that a precept We making it plain for our people to see See, see, what's all on your internet Not just your internet on your TV Radio stations compelling our nation To wake up and change and come out of sleep Sleep, sleep, sleep in America We are not scared of you, we are prepared for you Puppets are back with a vengeance He saw you gon' get it, you know what you did to us 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 Israel, punch it, sing! Israel, sing! Oh, God! Who's the king? Who's the king? Who's the king? Read it all! Amos chapter 5. Verse 23. I'm going to say I'm going to say I'm going to go out there and stop. It's a beat, right? How people love music, huh? Let me shut and tired of it. Let's, let's, hey, let's sing to this. And I'm going I'm to sing to you. We're going to sing to you a righteous song. I want to sing 149. That's a very, we're going to read to you a very righteous song. Hey, yeah. Amos, chapter 5, verse 23. Huh? Take thou away from me the noise of thy this is a gospel music. Your dog for the uh, violins, your harps, what? your your uh, your guitars, your drums. Bring it up. Okay, oh. they over there in the midst of sin, hand sword. You understand? They Bring keep the commandment one, but they sing about Jesus. What? That's what Sing about Jesus. I want Joshua six. All you brothers in this shot. Bring. Amos chapter five, verse twenty three. Take thou away from me! Take thou away from me! The noise of thy song! The noise of thy song! Take thou away from me! Take thou away from me! The noise! 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 Of thy song! Of thy song! For I will not hear! Rejoice in him. Now who rejoiced in him? Let Israel. Who? Let Israel. 
real. You so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you're supposed to be rejoicing in this song. Real. 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 Be joyful in their king. Come on. Verse 3. Let them praise his name in the dance. How are we supposed to praise the most high? Praise him in the dance. So we're supposed to praise the most high God in the dance. Come on. Let them sing praises unto him. Let him sing praises unto him. Come on. With the temple. With the temple. Come and on. Heart. In a heart. Read. For the Lord taking pleasure in his people. God He will beautify the meat with salvation. Come on. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Hey. Let them sing aloud upon the bed. So let the saints sing aloud upon the bed. Come on. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth. You're supposed to be singing the high praises of God. That's supposed to be what's in your mouth. Come on. And the two ends swore. And the what? And the two ends swore. So you're supposed to be singing.
bondage of gentlemen. What? For the iniquity of their fathers. For everything their father did. That's the prepared slaughter for them. Because right. guess what? Every nation is benefiting from our captivity. That's right. That's right. Every nation is benefiting from the bondage, the blood, sweat, and tears of the so-called black Spanish and Native Americans. Right. Right. We built the pyramids. We built the Great Wall of China. We right. built America. Right. Free labor. Oh, free labor. We could be the greatest country in the world if you had a servant for 400 years. Right. Bring it out. Bring it out. Hey, you can write your own money. It'd be like Monopoly. Right. You can make whatever you want to make, do whatever you want to do. That's Bring what they got. 400 years, free labor. That's madness. Hey, for that? Isaiah chapter 66, verse 16. Come on. For by fire. For by what? For by fire. So how Christ coming back? With fire, come on. And by his sword. And by his what? And by his sword. What, what Christ coming back with? Fire and his sword. To do what? Let's say he coming back to hug little children and say he wept and say, uh, don't sin anymore and sit next to Barack Obama and I'm a demon child. Let's say he comes back. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all and the slave. The what? And the slave. The dead, the murdered, the executed. Come on. Of the Lord shall be many. Christ come to kill a lot of people. That's right. There's going to be a lot of slow saving and, and the flower bringing when Christ come back. Right. A lot of death. It's going to be smelly, man. It's going to get real smoky. It's going to be like a smokehouse. Right. It's going to get real smoky because with fire in the sword, this guy's going to come back to kill. He's coming to kill. He ain't coming back to hug nobody. This ain't no dog or left behind movies. He's right. coming back to kill you. Yeah. And you are outside of these law statutes and commandments. Period. Right. I don't care how much you sing and dance and corn and speak in these languages, nobody understands. And, and you go to these churches and you try to pay for your sin. I don't care how much you do that. If you turn for the laws of the Most High God and think that Christ, you are going to die when he returns. When Christ the Black Messiah cracked this sky, if you are outside of these guidelines and standards that he set, these laws, statutes, and commandments, it's over for you. It's a wrap. Period. Wait. Bring it up. Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. Bring it up. If any man have an ear. So that's, 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 a, that's, that's a funny saying. Everybody got two ears, right? Huh? It says, if any man will listen, if any man have an ear, come on, let him hear, let him hear, come on. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Who led you into captivity? You said the white man? The Bible calls him something else. Esau, Edomites, that's the Bible called him. Okay, we deal with nationality, who you are and what you are. Okay, we'll deal with the labels that they put on us. Because they call us black, that's just a color the crayon box. Right. You understand that? So, who led you into captivity? They just led you into captivity last. All nations led you into captivity. That's why all nations have to go into captivity. That's right. That's right. That's right. It ain't going to be everybody holding hands, singing kumbaya, singing kumbaya. That's not what's good from the kingdom of heaven going to be like. Come on. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. God said, he that killeth with the sword must, not might, not should, not could. He said they must be killed with the sword. Right. right? Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. This is the patience and faith that we have. In the midst of all this nonsense, this vain song, the most I ain't even hearing that nonsense. Right. Psalm 9, 31. God ain't hearing that. God wants you to keep his law, statutes, and commandments. Right. He came so that you can repent, brother. Right. If one brother repented, they all praise to the most high. He came so that you can repent, you can turn, you turn back to his law. I'm trying to get the hell out of here. Right. Right. Who like being on the bottom? Raise your hand. Who like being on the bottom? Who like being subject to payment? Who like having to go buy water? Bring it up. That's a natural resource. Who like that stuff? You know the most I created all these things for us? Y'all know that? He created all these things for your sake. The sun, the moon, and the stars exist because the Israelites are here. And we know we're not going. We're here. You understand? Revelation chapter 18, verse 
these police officers shouldn't take a notice about what we're talking about. Right. You see that? County. That's that Captain Council. County. They're doing that intel right now. They're like, yo, turn the cameras at these niggas. We got to get them out of here. Right. Get them out of here. Okay? They talk about Jesus. Give me that in Psalms 50. Bring it up. Hey, when I hear heathens talk about my Jesus, I get pissed the hell off. Christ the black messiah. Right. Name, right. There's nothing to be spoken by these doggone heathens. You got it? You got it? Psalm chapter 50, verse 16. Come on. Bring it up. the wicked. Unto the wicked. Who's the wicked? Who is the wicked? Who is the wicked? Anybody know? Yeah. Okay. You say he's so? Give me Malachi 1. Bring it up, let's, see, let's see who the wicked are. Bring it up. Bring let's it see up. who the wicked is. Because maybe we don't know. Maybe we don't know. Maybe we are ignorant of who the wicked is. We finna help you out. You finna learn today. The book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 4. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished. Edom. That's the red and hairy people on this earth. Who's red and hairy? Bring it up. What people are red and hairy? Bring it up. up. Don't say the Indians, because they are brown. Right. You can't say the Indians, because they're brown. Right. The right. Indians are brown. I'm going to say it again. The so-called Native American Indians are brown. Right. So what goes red and hairy on this earth? Bring it up. What people? Got him. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Got him. What people on this earth is red and hairy? Bring it up. You say Esau, all praise to the most high. Exactly. Let's read about Esau, read. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished. They said we're impoverished. It's gonna be in the beginning of time, okay? This is the Middle Ages, or the Dark Ages, come on. But we will return and build the desolate places. What does it mean to return? To have a rebirth. What's the Renaissance period mean? The rebirth, what? The rebirth of who? What nation of people had to be rebirthed? Huh? So called white man. Yeah, the dark, nations, dark nations rule. Yeah, we rule yeah, on the Byzantine yeah, Empire. Yeah, okay, right, right. Right. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, right. they shall build. So these people, they shall build, come on. But I will throw down. God says he's going to throw it down. That's right. That's right. And they shall call them. And they shall call them. And everybody shall call them. Everybody call them the dark one devil, the great Satan. Oh. I've, been to, I've been to a lot of different countries. And every country they call him the great Satan. That's the great Satan. The devil. Right? And they Satan shall the call them the border of wickedness. They shall call these Edomites or Esau the border of wickedness. That's the right. beginning of wickedness. So these Edomites over there that are pushing that image right there, they're singing about Jesus the Christ. Let's see how God feels about that. So, so Chapter 50, verse 16. But unto the wicked. Unto the wicked. Who's the wicked? Esau. Esau, come on. God says. God says, not because I, because I can't say nothing. God says, come on. God says, what hast thou to do to declare my statue? Who the hell are you to declare my statues? That's what God, God's asking these people. That's right. Who are you to declare my statues? Come on. Or that thou should take my covenant in thy mouth. Or that you should even talk about the covenant that I have between the children of Israel and the dog of the mouth. Right. Right. That's what they're saying about our covenant. The right. covenant that God made with the children of Israel. Right. You so-called black, Spanish, Native Americans. Nobody else. That's right. Yeah, finish that. Hold on. Finish that. Malachi 1 and 4. They shall build and I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. And the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. God has indignation. What's indignation? Indignation. What's indignation? Hatred. Righteous hatred. God has righteous hatred for these people forever. How long is forever? So if that's the true statement, can God love everybody? Does God hate? Bring it up. Huh? Has to be back. This part is why I like this book. You get, give me that Romans now. Romans chapter 9, verse 13. Bring it out. As it is written. As it is written in this holy Bible. Come on. Jacob, have I loved? Jacob is the father of the 12 tribes. You so called black suspenders in Native Americans. Come on. But Esau. Who is Esau? Okay, come on. But Esau. Don't call them white. Don't, do not call them white. To call them white 
by meaning that you're calling them pure. You're calling them unblemished. You're calling them clean. You're calling them spotless, sinless. Innocent. Innocent. Right. Call them Esau. That's what the hell they are. They call them the damn devil. That's right. That's what you call them. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.